everyone. This is Charlie with HotTipsCentral.com, and iOS 4.3.2 has now officially been released by Apple. This happened about an hour and a half ago. And there's one thing that jailbreakers and unlockers should be aware of, and that's to not hit update when iTunes tells you to. Uh, there's, if there's one thing we've learned so far, at least the hacking community anyway, is that we don't like to do what Apple tells us to do. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing it what we do. Um, especially ultra, ultra Snow Unlockers. If you haven't taken advantage of the uh, IMEI uh, unlocks from Cut Your Sim, uh, which is in a link in an annotation of the video right now, if you haven't done that yet, or at least gone through that process yet, um, then you're going to need to stay away from this unlock. Now, if you have unlocked with your IMEI, uh, if you have unlocked your phone permanently like that, uh, then you're good to go unless you want to jailbreak and then still don't do it. So moral of the story, long story short, don't update. Um, but it's come to my attention that a lot of people probably don't know how to save their SHSH blobs, uh, their unique identifier, with Cydia so that they can downgrade firmware and always be able to jailbreak. Because uh, Cydia guarantees that it will uh, save your SHs for you but it doesn't always guarantee that it will be the latest one. It only says it will always make sure that it has a jailbreakable version saved for you. So you'll need to use a program called Tiny Umbrella. And so that's what we're going to do. We need to save our SSH, SHSH with Tiny Umbrella. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to learn more. Isn't that awesome? So the first step we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and open iTunes and plug in our phone. I'm going to move this to the side here so that it doesn't show my info. And plug in my phone. This is I'm using an iPhone 4 for this, but it will work with any device. It's not picky as to it's not picky. And you can see right here, new software is available. iTunes is prompting. Here's the key. Just because it's highlighted in blue doesn't mean you have to click it. Read what it says. If you don't want to do it, hit cancel. And if you don't want to be asked anymore, click the box and it won't ask you anymore. Isn't that awesome? It's awesome. So here's my iPhone. Let's just move this a little bit. And change these numbers a little bit. There we go. Now you, I don't really care if you see those. So there you go. So there's my iPhone. It's, a, it's an iPhone 4 running 3.1, 4.3.1. And we're just going to save our SHSHs. So in order to do that, we're going to use a program called Tiny Umbrella. It looks like this. At least the icon looks like that. And if you open it up, again, download link is in the description. So I'm sure if you don't have this program already, you can go and pick it up. It's pretty simple to do. And then you're simply going to look for your device that's already plugged in on the sidebar here. Click that. Make sure that's selected. And then you're going to click this button over here. It says Save SHSH. Save. Go ahead and click that. It will go through a process that ends up saving the SHSH for you. Uh, and it will tell you whether or not you have certain ones for certain firmware. So, for instance, my phone does not have it on file for 4.3 Beta 1 because I didn't save it with 4.3 Beta 1. But I do have it for a lot of other things. And so it'll tell you it does have this, it does have that. And... Um, yeah, so that's all you really have to do. Let Tiny Umbrella do its thing. Don't touch it until it says it's done, until it stops updating itself here, and then you're good. Once in every single firmware that it marks down that with a with green text here, see, I don't have my firmware saved for 4.3 because I wasn't ever on 4.3 and never did it for 4.3, but I do have it for 4.3.1, which is the important one for me because that's the latest one that's jailbreakable, and I don't care about the other ones because I know how to downgrade. But that's it. So it says finished, and that's all you'll need to worry about. And all the firmwares where it says it does have them, those are the ones that you can always downgrade to. Now, if you're interested in downgrading firmware, let's say you did by some miracle chance in the world, click the button that says download and update, and then clicked confirm and then waited 20 minutes for it to download and then took the other five minutes for it to install and then realized that it was an accident. <laughs> if you did do all that uh, and you want to downgrade, go ahead and click the link in the video uh, right here 
and uh, we'll take care of you there. So if you're able to do, and that's we can only downgrade you if you've saved your SH SHs like this, or if Cydia has them already, because a lot of these Cydia already had. So. Uh, you can check out more about that at hottipcentral.com. And once again, iOS 4.3.2 is out, and you should not download it.